Hi guys, it's Makeover Monday and it's cold and raw here in Philadelphia so I thought I'd do the ultimate comfort food dish. Macaroni and cheese. You may be wondering, she must have lost her mind. How do you do macaroni and cheese with no cheese? Well, my vegan version doesn't use any nutritional yeast, it doesn't use any nonsensical ingredients. It uses very simple foods and comes together like this most delicious rich dish. So what we're doing is melting some vegan butter substitute. You can use whatever kind you like. And you just wanna get it almost completely melted. And then we're gonna add to this, as it gets to that phase, a little bit of flour. Now this recipe is on my website in its full capacity, but I gotta be honest and tell you, as I toast this flour in the vegan butter, I never make a full recipe of macaroni and cheese cause there's only two of us and we eat all of it. I would eat pasta until I'm sick. So what I do instead is make little ramekins of them. So I'm doing sort of a half recipe here. So I have a pinch of salt and I'm gonna add to this some turmeric for anti-inflammatory properties and a nice yellow color. Some garlic powder because fresh garlic just is too strong in this dish. And you can use either sweet or smoked paprika. I am a maniac for smoked paprika. I love that flavor. So they go in, you kind of stir those around and now we add whatever vegan cheese you like, right? I like certain brands, but not everyone can get the brands I like. So you want to use the one that you like. Just make sure that it's vegan and doesn't have casein. Now, the final thing to go in to make the sauce is some almond milk. Of course you can use oat or whatever non-dairy milk you like. And we're gonna cook this over kind of a medium heat and just until it melts. And you can see it gets this really nice texture, sort of you know, melty and it's gonna be sticky and delicious and rich. And so as soon as this melts and gets creamy, I love this. I love how easy this dish is. You know, if you're gonna make over a dish, it can't be any harder than the original one. And it has to be just as delicious and creamy. I used to make this dish all the time for my niece, for my godson and his hockey team buddies. And no one ever knew that I was feeding them the lovely vegan foods that I was feeding them. They instead thought they were coming to my house for macaroni and cheese. So it was always a great thing. So now that the cheese is melted, we take pasta. Now it's important that when you cook your pasta, you can use elbows if you're doing this for kids, but I usually use a more grown up cut of pasta. But you wanna make sure your pasta is only cooked about 80%. It's still, pretty hard in the center because this is gonna go into the oven. So you don't want pasta that's fully cooked for two reasons. One, it's too mushy and completely not delicious. And secondly, if your pasta is overcooked, it becomes what's called an insulin trigger. And you go macaroni and cheese to macaroni and cheese to macaroni and cheese. So now I pile this into a little oiled ramekin. This is how I do this for my husband and for me so that we don't go crazy with macaroni and cheese. Then I take equal portions of almond meal and breadcrumbs. And you can do this entire recipe gluten-free using almond meal only, or almond meal and gluten-free breadcrumbs, almond meal and gluten-free breadcrumbs and gluten-free pasta. And you do a nice coating. This is gonna be your crunchiness on top. And then I take and give it a little drizzle of really good Tuscan olive oil. Then this will go into the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. And when it comes out of the oven, you've got these gorgeous little lightly browned individual macaroni and cheeses that will make pretty much anybody on your list of eating, the happiest campers they can possibly be. Recipes on my website, christinacooks.com. Happy cooking, oh, and post your pictures. And as for those of you who sent me information, 
but what you'd like to see dishes made over, everything from moussaka to paneers to whatever, I'll work on it and I'll get to them and I'll see you next Monday. Bye guys.